Hey everyone, it's Norgiele13 coming at you with another Shisha review. <clears throat> um, today we are reviewing one of the newest Fantasia flavors out of the three that they just released. Um, it's not Trendsetta series or anything, it's just regular line. Um, today we are reviewing Mary Jane. If you can see that, <laughs> we'll do separate, like, back to back. I don't know. Um, yeah, it's uh, it's very holographic if you can tell. They kind of went on with what they did with like the Trendsetta series, how they kept it all holographic. Uh, I'll read I'll read what it says on the back. What is Mary Jane? Your right hand girl never leaves your side, always down to ride. She'll make you super happy, then put you fast asleep. Take a sweet hit and don't forget to pass. Um, now obviously, no, it's not marijuana flavored. Um, honestly, it, it, it's really hard for me to figure out what it is. Um, first off, it's typical Fantasia. It's red and super juicy and pretty chopped up. Um, the smell on it, hey, it's, it just seems like they put a shit ton of stuff into it. Um, I almost kind of get a little bit of a, like, semi-bubblegum smell. And maybe a little bit of berry. Um, it's just it's a very fruity smell. I know at one point when I first smelt it, for some reason, it almost kind of made me think of like a watermelon with like. Don't ask me why, but for some reason, some type of cinnamon type feel. I actually had someone who told me that they thought it almost kind of had that same scent that um, Orchata from Tangiers. Um, so pretty much kind of like what I'm saying, cinnamon, it's, it's, it's got that, it's got a weird random small undertone of like cinnamony, like kind of creamy type smell with a bunch of fruit in it. I don't know. It's really weird. Um, I'll take a pull here for you guys and let you guys see how it's smoking. I'm smoking, smoking out of my green KM Ceramica, um, with a small Tangiers Funnel Bowl, um, and my Cloud Lotus with three... Uh, whatever, the, uh, Cocoa Buzz, Charcoal, and my new Zoom Hose. So I'll, let you, I'll show you guys the clouds here. So as you can see, very nice clouds. Um, I usually get pretty, I usually get like pretty average to pretty thick clouds from Fantasia, depending how you pack it, and if you're using the Cloud Lotus, more than likely you're going to get pretty thick clouds. Um, but, okay, so as the taste goes, so the taste is even, it's almost a little bit different than the smell. You do get, you do still kind of slightly get that bubblegum feel to it. Um, I heard somewhere, I don't remember where, but. Someone had said that it's supposed to be kind of like a sweet guava or something like that. I mean, I can kind of see that. There's like very little. But I don't really think it's a legit guava tasting. I don't think that's what they were trying to go for. Maybe they were and I'm just not tasting it. I don't know. But, um... As weird as it sounds, I almost... I mean, you get that fruity taste, but here comes the weird part where I say it almost has a weird undertone of, like, the taste of, like, Lebanese, Lebanese bombshell, kind of like that cedar feel, which I personally do like Lebanese bombshell. Um, I haven't smoked it very often lately because, um, as you know, it's winter right now, and I have to smoke in my house, and I don't really want that shit... This, that cedar smell, it's sometimes overpowering, and I don't want that all over my room. So I haven't smoked it. I still have a full brand new tin that I haven't even opened up yet of Lebanese Bombshell. So I'm waiting for summer for that. Um, but, but yeah, it's almost got a weird undertone of like a cedar. Like cedar chips, cedar tree. But, I mean, that don't don't let that scare you off. It's not the entire flavor. It's, an, it's like an undertone. It's like... It really mainly gets like a fruity taste, like bu fruity bubblegum taste, and it's got like, 
And like I kind of said earlier with the smell, that slight kind of creamy like cinnamon taste, but it also has that little undertone of cedar. I don't know. It's a really, really weird flavor in my opinion. Um, it is. It, it's a nice flavor though. I've had some people over and smoking this with me, and they all kind of liked it. So um, obviously, you guys saw the clouds. Clouds, I'd give them, you know, ten out of ten. I pretty much give clouds ten out of ten for everything I smoke. I haven't really found anything that I really hate the amount of cloud output. Um, the strength of taste on this one. Um, better than some Fantasians, I'd say. I, I think I'd give it an 8 out of 10 for strength of taste. Um, maybe 8.5. I mean, we'll kind of get towards that 9 there, but not fully towards 9 out of 10. Um, it's not really subtle, like a lot of Fantasias have come to know for me, but it definitely does have pretty strong taste. Um, um, overall rating for this flavor, God, I don't even know. Let me take another hit. <laughs> I think if I were to rate it in Fantasia wise as like zero to ten, you know, ten being the best, obviously, just for Fantasia, not for any other brand, but just for Fantasia, I think I would give this actually, honestly, almost probably a nine out of ten. It's it's a very different flavor, but it's a very good flavor at the same time. I don't know. Some people, this is one of the, it's kind of like how how I came out with Lebanese Bombshell. Some people are really going to like it, and some people are probably going to hate it. And I think that's how this one is. It's kind of a love or hate. And so far, everybody I've smoked with the, with this flavor, they've liked it. So, um, as for rating goes for all shisha, every brand, everything, for taste-wise and everything, uh, I'd probably bring it down to more of an 8 out of 10. It's a good flavor. Definitely better ones out there. Um, but, yeah, I mean, it's pretty good. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna leave it at that 8 out of 10. Definitely a very interesting flavor to try, very unique. It, it really is unique. Um, you know, coming out the fact that it's like a fruity flavor mixed with like kind of cedar-ish type thing and creamy cinnamon. I don't know, it's really weird. You guys will definitely have to try it. I personally do kind of recommend it. Um... It's definitely one that I might pick up in the future. Um, other than that, yeah, I mean, that's all I have to say about it, guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, watch my other videos. I got the other two brand new Fantasias that I'll get out here soon. Um, and I'm hoping to review all the brand new Starbuzz Bold flavors coming out here soon, which I'm really excited for. One, two of them include White Mint and Black Mint. Brand new flavors to, like brand new mints apparently and I'm really excited to try them and see what they taste like and I will definitely get those reviews out to you guys when I get that order in whenever I can order it um, and then they also have uh, golden grape and grape freeze so I'm pretty excited to try those I'm more excited for the mints other than the grapes but I like I like to keep up with my Starbucks flavors as most of you guys may know um, so other than that like I said like, comment, subscribe. You guys have a question, I'll try to answer it for you. Um, let's see here. Yeah, I mean, th thanks for the support, guys. I'm coming, getting up there towards 200 subscribers already, and that just amazes me. I mean, because it was just, you know, a couple months ago that I was like, holy shit, I just hit 100 subscribers. And it's crazy. And, um, and I, I keep... FYI, another little note I'm going to give you guys here. I know I kind of mentioned when I got 100 subscribers that we were going to do a giveaway. I'm really sorry about that. I totally kind of just got over my head with that. Um, I really do want to do it, but as of right now, I am in a, like, slump of no work. I am, as mo as some of you may know, some of them, like, some of you guys on, like, uh, the Hookah Cartel on Tiny Chat and everything, you guys would know that I am a temporary worker. I've been working at the same place for like three years, but um, 
I can be working there overtime and out of nowhere, boom, I'm off for like a few weeks. So as of right now, I'm not working. So I'm trying to make sure I'm not spending any money or at least too much that I don't need to. <laughs> so I'm not going to be doing a giveaway just yet. Um, I do plan to do one in the future. Hopefully that will happen soon. Maybe if I can get a fucking full-time job, that would be, that would be nice. Um, other than that, oh, and just yesterday, my uh, uh, Starbuzz, eBuzz, eSig review just hit 10,000 views, so I'm pretty happy about that. Um, but yeah, other than that, thank you guys so much for watching, uh, and keep an eye out. I will try to get out as many reviews as I can here in the future. And if you guys didn't notice, uh, you're actually watching this on, like, HD instead of my shitty laptop webcam. Thought might as well start doing some HD videos for you guys, so it's not so boring, I guess. I don't know. I don't know how this makes this less boring, but more interesting to watch, I guess. I don't know. Other than that, thanks for watching, guys. Check out my other videos, and please subscribe if you haven't already. See you later, guys.